inventory analysis example 2 okay for this example okay we will look what is the system is about is a colon system okay what is the description and how we can develop our inventory analysis based on this case study okay this is a colon system okay an emergency colon system is driven by electrically driven pumps okay pump 1 and pump 2 okay the pump starts working based on detection of malfunction of normal colon by the flow detector d okay this is your detector okay the flow detector okay ep which is not shown is the electrical power okay a full system success okay requires both pump is in operating the detection system and the electrical power operating so the combination of both p1 p2 d and also ep okay will result in success system s okay the combination of p1 p2 d and ep will result in success okay while the failure of electrical power failure of detection system d or failure both pump result in system failure okay so this is failure this is success but for partial success okay there is another condition one pump operating result in partial success so the combination of p1 p2 d and ep will result in s success however is either p1 or p2 is fail but d and also ep is function will result in partial success p okay then the failure of p1 p2 d and also ep okay will result in system failure so it give uh, during this statement it give the failure probability for pump 1 okay p1 p2 d and electrical power are 0 0.2 for p1 0 0.2 for p2 0 0.3 for detection system d and also 0 0.05 for electrical power ep okay so you have already your failure probability so the failure occurrence for a normal coolant is 4.1 times 10 to the power of negative 2 per year so you remember this is the per year this is your frequency okay this is your initiating event frequency you have your initiating event frequency you have your failure probability now you can develop your event tree analysis okay. so the, the first task is conducting an event tree analysis by using a static initial event a break in the normal colon pipe so this is your initiating event a break in the normal colon pipe then you have your initiating event frequency next your second task is to determine the occurring frequency per year for each outcome event so you have three different outcome is either success partial success or failure f so these are the outcome event for this initial event how we can click okay or how we can develop our coolant system all right remember first make sure you have your initiating event normal coolant pipe failure then this is your initiating frequency okay this is your initiating event frequency then you have your safety function okay the first one you have your electrical power then you have your detection system before your p1 or p2 can function remember the statement okay the pump starts working based on detection of malfunction of normal coolant flow by the flow detector so p1 is p2 is only working based on detection system so p1 is and p2 is the sequence from detection system and emergency cooling system is driven by electrically driven pump when you have your electrical pump most of your system is depend on your electrical 
power okay if there is no electrical power all these system are not working so electrical power is the first step of your safety function you need to have your electrical power first before your detection system and also your pump 1 and pump 2 can fully function okay so you have your safety function of your electrical power detection system pump 1 and pump 2 okay so we need a label it as a a b c d and e okay then we have our failure rates okay in this statement we already identify our failure rates okay 0 0.2 for each of our pump 0 0.3 for detection system and 0 0.05 for electrical power so 0 0.05 failure rate 0 0.3 for detection system 0 0.2 for pump 1 and 0 0.2 for pump 2 okay so you can calculate your successful frequency from your first function or first safety function which is electrical power so 0 0.05 times okay what is your frequency at the initiating events okay so this is your failure rate 0 0.05 so you have your frequency at 0 0.05 then you have your 0 point the remaining is your successful rate 0 0.95 so the successful rate times your initiating frequency will have your successful and failure frequency. Okay, remember this is only your failure rate. Okay, not your failure frequency. Uh, this is your successful rate, not your successful frequency. You still need to calculate your successful frequency at this level. All right. Then you have your successful and failure rates. Okay, it's just follow your failure rate at the beginning of your statement. Okay. Then remember this uh, the statement that you can only have your result is either successful, partially successful, or failure. Alright. So if your electrical power is successful then you can have your detection system okay so this is your successful branch this is your failure branch look at this event tree analysis okay if your system have been failed in your electrical power there is no detection and pump function in this tree or in this event tree analysis so it directly goes to the result meaning that you have failed in the first stage all the other stage have been considered as a failure okay as compared to the first branch okay once you fail uh, you success in your first branch then your detection and pump system can be in fully working condition okay so is either you have success or fail in your detection system will contribute to the working of your pump 1 and pump 2. So, because pump 1 and pump 2 are depend on are depending on the detection system, so if your detection system has been failed, okay, at this stage, so there is no function of pump 1 and pump 2. It directly goes just as a failure of A and C. Okay, the failure of C will contribute to the failure of the system. The failure of B also contribute to the failure of the system. Okay, however, if your detection system has been working, okay, then your pump one and pump two can function. Okay, at this stage, is either both of the pump is working or just one pump is working can contribute to the idea of a success or partially success but if your p1 is fail then p2 also fail it still contribute to the failure of the system remember the statement if both of the pump are fail the result is failure so 
the detection system is working however your pump 1 and pump 2 is not working so it is still categorized as a failure but if your p1 is success and p2 is not success so you still have your partially success uh, same goes to the p1 is fail but your p2 is working so you have your partially success if both are success okay if both of your pump are working after your detection system so you have your successful system okay this statement are true if p1 and p2 are standalone or are not related to each other based on the detection system if your detection system or pump system have been connected in series okay meaning that p1 uh, p2 have uh, must uh, related to p1 okay so p1 uh, p2 only working if p1 is working so the result will be different okay so how you interpret your system is very very important okay how you can uh, interpret your system will uh, will determine what is your final result okay as you can see you only have one type of condition where you can achieve your successful system uh, by have been uh, you are success in your all of your safety function b c d and e okay then you have your partial success and finally all of these three failure so you already develop your inventory analysis the next question is i need you to determine the occurrence frequency per year for each outcome event since the question asks for occurrence frequency per year meaning that you need to identify uh, you need to calculate all of this event or uh, consequence frequency per year then you can uh, you can sum up all the same category okay for successful okay after the calculation all of this successful uh, frequency then you get your numbers okay this is uh, your successful frequency per year this is your partially successful rate uh, successful frequency per year this uh, based on the combination of these two okay the summation of these two then the summation of f category okay the failure category for ade ac and ab will result in this okay failure frequency so the, the calculation of the result or the outcomes from this event tree analysis is depend on your category okay it's uh, just like uh, in example one we have our uh, runaway shutdown and also uh, operation but in this case we have successful partially successful and failure so all these outcome are based on your case study but the calculation and the procedures are still the same so as a conclusion there is a one quiz for you okay based on our previous case study the reactor system so the question is try to construct an event tree and to determine the occurring frequency per year for each outcome event for this initi uh, initiating event of loss of coolant for the reactor however the case statement or the case study statement already been changed so develop your inventory analysis based on this statement Your submission can be made in e-learning at usm.my after you have complete your quiz. Thank you.